So what remains? Is this the end of asynchronous I.O.? No, no, this is just the beginning. So one of the work they want to do is, first of all, uh, all what we talked about is reads only. Postgres 18 only supports asynchronous I.O. for reads. So all the background writers, the check pointers, the back end stuff that writes, none of that, that stuff is still sync. And uh, don't quote me on that, quote Andreas. This is from the talk two months ago he did in 2025, August. Okay. Yeah, so writes is not supported for asynchronicity yet. So you can only do reads. Uh, I think reads are more important because he, once you write, you don't really do much, right? You already did the CPU work, right? But I suppose you can do more stuff CPU stuff as you're writing so you can move and do more stuff but yeah I think writes will definitely benefit yeah so that writes no writes yet right so that that work is being worked on in the future they're gonna enable start enabling it for all the other you know processes that does writes yeah so they're working on uh, uh, enhancing the the worker mode essentially to to be more flexible, right? I think today, the way they have the worker mode is like, the default is three, and then it doesn't really, you can change it and restart the Postgres instance to, to pick it up, right? But it's not flexible. You cannot just change it in runtime. Plus, uh, even if you, if you set it to a large number, let's say 50, uh, it spins up those 50 at the start, and then, those 50 will remain there whether they are used or not so they want to make it like elastic a little bit so that uh, the postgres instances the, the those workers will spin down when they are not needed and they will spin back up when they are just to save on memory and and just over unnecessary overhead right so that they're working on that making the worker better and um, they're working for windows support so uh at least for IOU ring for Windows, which is IOCP. So to support IOCP for Windows. 